Hey guys, um, hello again. It's been a while since I've made a video. Honestly, um, college has been like killing me, so sorry about that. Anyway, um, today I'll be starting maybe a new series. Yay! This series will be called Crack Ship Mondays where I will be posing some crack ships I love or have invented with friends or stuff like that. Um, and we'll make a drawing of them and explain a little bit about the concept of where this came from and what I think about it. Maybe you guys can suggest in the comments below during the next videos also about what crack ships I should cover. Anyway, these are essentially a craft ship is a ship that is not official, usually doesn't seem to make sense or it just is impossible for it to happen. Um, the craft ships I chose today, actually I made it in high school with a friend of mine. It's called Lost Matte and it's the pairing between Lost Silver from the creepypasta fandom and well obviously Matt or Miljivas or Mail, I don't know how you guys pronounce it. According to the author it's Mil anyway. Him he is from Death Note actually and he only appears like eleven or fifteen seconds in the series and he dies. It's sad but well in the manga he has a little bit more personality and he's actually a fan favorite and one of my personal favorites as well from the anime manga series. Um, let's start with this. Well a friend of mine and I invented this ship actually because in that time I was like making a little comic book called 30 days to love and in that comic book, well, it was like a bunch of mixed universes, right? So amongst those mixed universes was Death Note and the Creepypastas. And we were talking about what pairings we should make. And one of those pairings we made was Lost Silver with Matt. <laughs> the reason why we got up with this was I always found Silver really cute. And she agreed with me that he was really cute and adorable. Even though, well, his story is supposed to be all eerie and creepy. Honestly, for me, um, I'm really into cute, creepy stuff, so that did not disturb me that much. Even though the story is kind of scary, um, that really did not scare me too much anymore. I was kind of like already um, used to that type of thing. So, well, I loved Silver and the personality he seemed to be given later on by the fandom itself. So I decided to take on that. And Matt, well, according to the personality my friend gave him and the one that we know, he's kind of like a pervert, <laughs> honestly. He's kind of a pervert. He makes a lot of those types of jokes. <laughs> Actually, in the series before he dies, he actually says, Oh, I did not know the Japanese were allowed to have such big guns. <laughs> yeah, he was really silly. Anyway, so um, Matt is also known to be a fan of video games. And Lost Silver, coincidentally, his little story comes based on a video game. So... Handheld video game with Matt. Perfect combination, that's why it made sense for us. So, the interaction we made about these guys. Well, honestly, interaction is this simple. Matt is has given up on love. Matt is just like, I give up, I don't want this anymore, I'm gonna stay single forever. Fuck life, fuck girls, fuck everything. And then Silver comes up in his life because he is sent by Slenderman and a caretaker of creepypastas to go and take care of Matt. Like kind of like a garden angel or something. So he was supposed to guard him and make sure he was okay and he was given as a gift to him. Yeah, sounds kind of slavery but it's a video game. What do you expect? 
So his attitude towards Matt is really shy, sweet, kind of silly and innocent. He seems to love ice cream, mainly vanilla ice cream, and he loves adorable little things. Matt, on the other hand, even though he's a pervert, he's also a big, hopeless romantic. So Silver tolerates all that because he adores it. And Matt is free to do as he pleases. Yes in every sense of the word, as he pleases. Silver, on the other hand, well, being the fact that he's a creature, there are some things he does not feel, mocks them. Pain is not as easy to feel for him as for a human being. So, Therefore, they are free to do whatever they want. The only conflict they have is Mello, Matt's friend, being kind of overprotective of Matt. And not in a romantic sense, but because Matt is kind of like his brother in this series. Yes, many ship them, but I personally don't, and my friend doesn't either, so... <laughs> anyway, we discard the jealousy part for the ship. And it was just mostly like, you're my brother, I don't want anything to happen to you. So I don't trust this creature, I don't trust this guy, so why the hell should I try to be nice to him, right? So anyway, as we progressed on the story, because we never actually made the comic, we only made all the dialogues, which I still have and I still haven't finished drawing because I'm a lazy ass. Um, um, they ended up having a really good relationship, a really nice one, kind of clingy at times, to be honest. I'm not going to lie on that. It can be a little bit toxic because Silver is goddamn clingy and he's kind of like Giffany from Gravity Falls in the sense that he's mine, 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 and no one else's, so don't touch him, he's mine. <laughs> so yeah. That's mainly the little explanation I have for this. I hope in another time I'll make a script or something about this and tell you what things I'm gonna cover. But this is just like a little trial. There is no script on this. This was more like something random that came into my mind because I wanna go back and revive this stupid YouTube channel. No, 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 it's not stupid, but you get my point. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment subscribe, like this video, and share it if you want. This is Luna Love Comics, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye!